kind of infiltration. Chief Intelligence Correspondent Catherine Harridge is here with those stories. Good evening, Catherine. What are we learning about this, uh, this potentially very important email from the Clinton Foundation to Huma Abedin? Well, Judicial Watch had to sue for these records, and what we can see in this email from 2009, it's sent by top Clinton Foundation executive Doug Ban to Huma Abedin, and he asks her if she can get him and two other associates at the foundation diplomatic passports, and that on its face is a major violation of federal regulations. We don't know if they got the passports because the State Department said today they can't comment on individual cases. Meanwhile, Romanian hacker Guccifer, who uh, we are all familiar with, the man who first exposed Hillary Clinton emails, was sentenced today. Tell us. Well, that's right. Uh, yeah. The Romanian hacker Guccifer was in a Virginia federal court where he got 54 months for hacking into the accounts of 100 Americans, including Sidney Blumenthal. This is the Clinton advisor. And once he got into that account, we first knew about the existence of ClintonEmail.com, and that was really the event that got the ball rolling to where we are today. It's more than a bit ironic that Guccifer got jail time in the U.S., and then he'll serve out the rest of his sentence in Romania, while Mrs. Clinton and her aides face no criminal charges. And meanwhile, Romania is asking for him back right now. What's the motivation behind that? This is a very peculiar situation because the U.S. government went to great lengths to bring Guccifer to the United States in April. That takes a lot of resources, time, and effort. And traditionally, you would see someone serve sort of jail time in this country, but Romania wants him back straight away. And based on our interviews with Guccifer, he was very concerned about his situation, his security in Romania, because remember, this is a guy who consistently used these Russian proxy servers to commit all of his hacks against these high-profile targets. And uh, lastly, a new warning from the FBI about potential intrusions into the presidential campaign. It's a story first reported by ABC News, but we were able to confirm some of the details. There was what was really billed as sort of a routine brief for staffers on the Trump campaign as well as the Clinton campaign, <clears throat> um, trying to give them a best practices in terms of security, but they were specifically warned to be very careful about any new people or contacts that they made because they could be foreign spies and the FBI acknowledged that we're in the middle of this very unique threat environment where we really have very aggressive espionage against the electoral process by Russian-backed cyber militias. Deeply disturbing. It's true. Uh, to be continued. Thank you, Catherine. Yeah. Coming up next, the historic carnage on the streets of Chicago. First, here's what some of our Fox affiliates around the country are covering tonight. Fox 5 in New York as JetBlue sends two children to the wrong destinations. The two five-year-olds were traveling separately and unaccompanied from the Dominican Republic. One was supposed to go to Boston, the other to New York. They each ended up in the wrong city. One of the families is now suing JetBlue, which says it is reviewing the incidents. Fox 32 in Chicago, as a credit agency estimates, the state of Illinois will be sitting on $14 billion worth of unpaid bills by next summer. The report from Moody's Investors Service says the temporary budget deal between the Republican governor and Democratic lawmakers is actually making things worse. And this is a live look at Miami from Fox affiliate WSVN. One of the big stories there tonight, the first positive test result for the VECA virus in mosquitoes in the continental U.S. Officials say the infected mosquitoes were found in Miami Beach. So far, a total of 47 people in Florida have been diagnosed with the locally transmitted cases of Zika. And that's tonight's live look outside the Beltway for Special Report. We'll be right back. This program is brought to